Hello there and welcome to today's video. We're going to have a quick chat about manipulation. Some of the stuff that women do to manipulate men and keep them under their thumb, you know, and just basically get their way every single time. Now, let me say this, that if you're a woman watching this video, you can pretty much flip the script on most of the stuff that I'll talk about. And if this is something that your guy does as well, then at least you'll know that you are dealing with a manipulator. So if you're ready, let's jump into today's video. I promise it's going to be worth your while. Welcome back. My name is Jessica and this is my YouTube channel. So in the true context of the word, what does it mean to manipulate? It means to control or influence unfairly or unscrupulously. There are women who have become master manipulators and if you are not careful, by the time you come to, you would realize that you have actually completely given up your freedom, your thoughts and just everything else because you love this woman. Now, if you are suspecting that you're being manipulated in your relationship, then this video seeks to give you clarity. Don't be in a hurry to click off though, because at the end of the video, I will give you exactly what you need to do if you find yourself in a manipulative relationship. So please make sure you watch till the end. Let's jump right in. First sign you're being manipulated and some of the things that a manipulator does is use emotional blackmail. You know, it's really tough to spot emotional manipulation when it's happening to you because well, you're in it, it's happening to you. And it's hard to really take yourself out of the situation and really observe objectively. However, for most people who will be observing your relationship from afar, they would realize that there's so many things that simply do not add up. So well, emotional manipulation really is trying to get your partner to feel bad about their authentic thoughts, feelings, ideas, and stuff like that on a regular. And it's just to get them to conform to your own opinions, ideas, thoughts and feelings um, such that you will be at an advantage. Some women tend to use this a lot and it could include dramatic displays, gaslighting, threatening in certain instances. And if you're not very careful, like I said, you might find yourself stuck in a rut. Emotional blackmail is ugly. It's really, really ugly. A partner will use emotional blackmail to try to make you feel fear, guilt, or obligation. And in extreme situations, they'll actually hang something over your head to scare you into doing something that they want. Say you told them a secret or something that you didn't want anybody else to know, they suddenly begin to use that against you. And um, if you don't do things their way, they promise to tell everybody about it. Emotional blackmail is very ugly and it's a big red flag when it comes to relationships. Number two, sex. And you'll usually hear this in lots of relationship circles where they accuse women of using sex as a weapon, simply meaning that they would withhold sex for as long as they need to until you do certain things that they want or you do things their way. Women can pretend to be really, really upset with you about something you said or did, and suddenly she will use that as an opportunity to deny you intimacy. If things like these are left to continue in relationships, it's just a matter of time before one partner is basically looking outside the relationship for love, comfort, affection, and all that there and then some. Now for decades, women have used sex as a weapon, getting men to do a lot of things against their will, all in a bid to get the women to open up. Make sure you stay till the end of the video. I'll be telling you exactly what you need to do when things like this happen. Number three, another key way women manipulate men is through excessive compliments. And this particular pointer also goes both ways. However, if you're in a relationship and especially when it comes to certain requests, it just seems as if all of a sudden your partner, your woman, your guy, you know, are buttering you up a little bit too much, you know, um, and this isn't something that they ordinarily do. Um, you should be on the lookout. There could be a whole manipulation thing going on there. You know, um, the excessive compliments can come across as playful and you could almost fall into that trap if you're not smart enough to decipher it. A typical example of how this happens is when suddenly, you know, your woman seems to be full of high praise for you and something that you do on a regular. You're wearing the same kind of outfits that you wear every day to work and suddenly today you showed up 
wearing the same outfit she's seen a thousand times before and she's quick to try and butter you up and let you know that you're the most handsome man in the world the key word here is excessive meaning that it goes beyond the usual compliments that you get if your woman is saying things to make your head swell there could be another request that might be coming your way that will blindside you so do not be quick to fall for such shenanigans as it may just be her secret weapon to get what she really wants from you easily number four is they want you to prove your love yes and this comes in different shapes and sizes but the key identifier is always this phrase if you love me if you love me you will do x y or z if you love me you will pay for an air ticket for me to go on a trip with my girlfriends if you love me you will buy me that car if you love me you will do x y and z they use the fact that you are so in love with them to get you to do what they want every single time and without fail now and as much as that might not necessarily be a terrible thing, the problem is when it becomes a constant feature in your relationship, right? Because people do that from time to time. Sometimes it's in jest and shouldn't be taken too seriously. But when it becomes a regular feature, then you should know that there's something seriously wrong. She may be trying to manipulate you into doing things every single time. And my brother, you need to look sharp. Else by the time you're done, you'll end up selling your house, your car, emptying your bank account all to prove that you love her there's so many other ways you can prove your love to women and it doesn't have to be on cue number five is they make dramatic statements now these statements simply come across as excessive over dramatized um, almost ridiculous sounding for example a manipulative person will often use dramatic statements like you of all people should know this. You're the only person I ever loved. In some really terrible instances, they can ingest, and I mean swallow, and regurgitate your own words back to you that you do not recognize them. They know exactly what you're trying to say. However, they will put a spin to it. They will put their own meaning to it and throw it back at you in an attempt to hurt you and or to get you to kowtow to what they want you to do. Don't fall for it. Some women are master manipulators when it comes to those things. Number six, they're always just joking. Have you ever been in a situation where you find your partner saying something hurtful, sad, something that would trigger you, and then as soon as you're triggered, they say something like, oh, it was just a joke? That's manipulative behavior. It's almost as if they poke the bear. They do that to try to elicit a certain type of response from you. And if you're not careful, you may take it too seriously and an argument might break out. Once you understand that a lot of people like to use this just joking tactic to really usually talk about or convey what they really feel about certain situations, you will know that it really isn't just a joke and it isn't fun and games anymore. There are usually hidden meanings, hidden sentiments behind these jokes that nobody else finds funny. Usually women will really use this to convey how they feel and use the whole um, joke, uh, should I say cloak for want of a better word, to cover it up and soften the blow pay attention to what she's really trying to say to you it's not a joke and you should take it as serious as you can i believe that there are certain things that people shouldn't joke with and this whole oh i was just joking when it comes to relationships really should come to a halt now i'm not saying that you know, relationships need to be stiff and no fun and everybody needs to take themselves too seriously. No, I don't even think life should be taken seriously. None of us are getting out of here alive. But I am saying, however, that uh, sometimes they just get in the way of the regular flow of things. And when partners start to make uh, hurtful jokes at the expense of the other person they're dating, then it is a problem, becomes a problem. And if nothing is done about it, over time it can breed a lot of resentment. And finally, one of the biggest manipulative tactics that women use to control men is the use of tears men can't cry on cue some women can and some people have crocodile tears as we call them right under here and the minute you say something she doesn't like or something she feels goes against her the tears start to flow 
Everybody knows it's not a secret that men do not know how to handle tears. A lot of them will just back off, give in at the first sight of tears because that's the last thing they want to do. And they feel like they've really um, maybe pushed the woman to her limit, reason why she's crying. But a lot of women know that the only language men understand is their tears, and so they use that to their advantage even when it's unnecessary. Look sharp, my guy. Not all tears need to be acknowledged. I'm not saying be heartless or be insensitive when your woman is deeply hurt, but you should be able to decipher between the crocodile tears and the real emotional ones. You know, when someone's really crying, there are certain things that are able to tell you that this is legitimate and this isn't. Look a bit into it and you'll be surprised at what you find. So what do you do when you're dealing with a woman who's manipulative? I think that there are three general things. Number one, in every situation, make sure you think before you act, okay? Never take things at face value. Think deeply. Take the situation into context and make sure you take a decision based on the full picture and never what is just put before you. Think clearly. Do not be pressured into making any final decisions or quick, rash decisions decisions and if you need time ask for it before you respond to certain things think clearly and you should be good to go number two sometimes you just need to learn to say no i know a lot of guys and a lot of people generally find it difficult to say no for whatever reason they feel bad they feel like the other person will be hurt they feel like the other person will think they don't love them enough if they say no but sometimes saying no is healthy for you it frees up your time to do other things that you really want to do instead of committing to every single thing that someone you love has requested for. It's okay to say no. If they really love you, they should understand. They should be able to truly break down what's happening and understand why you had to decline as opposed to giving them a positive review or comment. And finally, if the manipulation is getting too much, what you want to do is decide on whether you want to stay in such an abusive, emotionally abusive relationship or to leave. Most people can manage manipulation. Most people can come back from manipulation, but then there's also a whole other group of people who do not handle it well. If you feel like the manipulation that you're feeling in or experiencing in your relationship is going against you, is, is, is challenging your mental health, is making you unhappy, then maybe it's time to take that tough decision and walk. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe. And you can also join my channel as a channel member. I will appreciate you so much as always. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.